We are so excited today to be doing our Rock in, our Biz Rock in Your Business call right here in our own corporate offices. We have decided to do a new format. Instead of just doing a call, we thought it would be so fun to have some of our wonderful presenters come to our corporate office and share, their, share what they're doing that's so successful. Something that we love about these Rock in Your Business calls is that it's we find the presenters who are really working hard and maybe they're doing something a little bit different and because they're doing something a little bit different it's helping them to be more successful or maybe we have a specific problem going on and we don't know how to deal with that and we or we know something's coming and we want to help prepare so we try really hard to choose great topics and we post those topics on the internet and ask for your people you want to recommend to us who, who can do those things. And then we take all of those recommendations and find our very best candidates. And we're very excited today to bring Megan Dashley here. She is from, Megan, I've almost, I forgot already. <laughs> Where are you from? Cincinnati, Ohio. Cincinnati, Ohio. So she flew in last night yes. and we got to bring her into the office today, take her to the salon. You know, we had Miss Kwai do her makeup, which she's is so amazing. fun. I know, she's so fun. <laughs> so it's so fun, and she'll get to see the rest of the building and get to, I think you even got to go to the cafe I this did. morning, right? Yeah. Like, we love that. That's Best like one of our favorite things ever. Oh, right? <laughs> I know, we love that. So we're excited to have her here, and we're, we're excited that this is the new format. So we'll be bringing um, our presenters for this segment once a month into our offices to do this. So today our topic is, and this is a good one, finding cooperation and support from your significant other to grow your business. And how do you involve them? So it's so important. We've found so often that when, when our presenters are getting support from their significant others, that it helps them to be more successful. But even more than that, we're finding that they're happier. And so that was something we really wanted to focus on. We had the mantuary at convention, and we had a lot of our men come there. We're starting to do some more things to involve them. But this is our first Rock in Your Business talking about this. So Megan, <laughs> we're happy to have you here first. Why don't you tell us a little bit about yourself? Thank you. I am so excited to be here. Um, I am from Cincinnati, Ohio, and my husband and I have been married for almost eight years this December. We have two boys, seven and almost four this week. So our life is very busy. And we started our family at a very young age. So we have known all about financial struggles. We have, we have grown up a lot. <laughs> Starting at 21 and 22, having a family, you tend to get thrown into reality and it's not always easy. So this has definitely been a growth process for us in I, my husband has always worked very hard to provide for us financially. He always went above and beyond to do whatever was possible to take care of our family. And I still always felt like I was dependent on him for so much that he wasn't able to do the things that he wanted to do with his life. He wasn't able to buy the things that he wanted in his life. And we weren't able to travel like we wanted. And I just felt like I was holding him back for a long time. So I am a hairstylist by trade. I have been in the beauty industry for 10 years. And I, my busiest times were nights and weekends. And as a mom, that's you've got parent-teacher conferences, you've got practices, you've got games. And I was missing out on those valuable times in my life and my heart just wasn't there anymore. So I was lucky enough that Unique came into my life and I was able to run with the opportunity and see that bigger picture so that eventually I could give him the life that he deserved. So he has always been super supportive of me, um, <laughs> but this unique opportunity was a little bit different than what we were used to. So it was not always easy on that front. I joined June 1st of 2014 and I quickly fell in love with the company. I was doing really well. I triple promoted my first month. I hit green by my third month and I stayed stuck at green for nine months. So that's something that I like to share with people because when you start off so fast, you just expect 
to keep going. Mm -hmm. right. <laughs> when right. you're doing all those things and you're putting so much effort and time and time away from your family into your business to not see the rewards of that, it can be very frustrating and very trying for everyone involved. So I continued to keep pushing. I continued to do everything that I was doing to get to green. And I still wasn't having those same results. But what I realized was during that time, God had a bigger plan for me. And he knew that I wasn't ready to be at the next level. And I needed to grow as a leader and as a person. And I had to grow through some of these relationship issues that we were going through in order to be ready to go to the next level. So once he was done working his master plan um, in April, we hit orange, May, we hit purple, and then November 2015, we hit black status. That's so awesome. <laughs> it has been a wild ride. I'll bet. And really, so tell us what it was like at first with your husband when uh, you first joined. I... It, I dove in head first as soon as I started. I was eating, sleeping, and breathing this business. Um, and I was spending every waking hour dedicated to my business because I saw that bigger picture. Mm -hmm. They were the reason why I was doing this. And I knew that I could provide them something more. But I wasn't setting boundaries. Mm -hmm. I was glued to my phone from sun up to sundown. And my husband... Even though he was supportive of me, he wasn't supportive and he didn't understand the business. So he became very resentful and he often referred to it as being invisible. Mm -hmm. So I had, I was running my business and my marriage, two completely separate things and there were no boundaries. It, I, I ignored him. I, I'll, I will, I will take the blame and I will be the first to admit that I ignored him because I was so enthralled by my business. I think that's the right word. <laughs> right. I, I was just like, everything was about my business. Even though it was for them, I didn't set those boundaries where I had set time with them. And they were two separate things. He's a man. Why would he want to be involved in a cosmetics right. business? Right. And it's so, so easy to do, don't you think? Yeah. Like, it's so easy. We think we have to separate the two. Yeah. For some reason, just because it's cosmetics, we think they would have no understanding yeah. or that they couldn't understand. No, they totally understand how business works and yeah. how those types of things can work. So, so here yeah. I thought he just wanted to be sitting on the couch watching right. football or baseball. And <laughs> yeah. no, he really wanted to be a part of it. And I was in my own little world in my own little bubble that I didn't even take the time to realize that he was dying to be a part of my business with mm -hmm. me and not just watching from the outside. Interesting. Yeah. And I think that happens a lot. It does. So I, I do. So what what did you do to get over that? It took many battles and many fights in order for us to come to a point where we knew that something had to change. So, I mean, I was, like I said, I was in my bubble. I was oblivious to everything outside of my business. And I thought it, everything was about me. It was my business, it was my marriage, it was my future. And I wasn't thinking about how it was affecting everyone around me. And so a lot of our, our fights revolved around traveling. I had always been at home with the children. I had always been there to make sure that they were taken care of while he was at work. Um, I was always there to do the laundry and cook and clean and all that stuff. So. When I started with Unique and there was the opportunity to go to Unified and there was incentives trips and convention, I was like, vacation. <laughs> Woo. Sure. Um, mama's getting out of town. Yeah. <laughs> and so I had all these big dreams and these big goals of all these trips that I was going to earn and all these things that I was going to do. And he was like, whoa, whoa, what's happening here? Mm -hmm. Like, you're not going anywhere without me. So travel was a big issue for me because I didn't think that he needed to be at any of these events. He didn't need to be at convention because that's our girl bonding, bonding time. He didn't need to be at training events because what does he want to know about my business? Um, but what I found out through us finally being able to communicate about what we were struggling with was that he did want to be a part 
mm -hmm. these big things and he did want to be able to go to convention and he did want to know how my business works and understand the comp plan and he just wanted to be able to be a part of it with me so mm -hmm. I was pretty much taking his voice away from him assuming that he didn't want to or didn't need to be a part of my business because mm -hmm. it was it was just mine right. and so some of those key words like mine and my like I was using that a lot but in reality it's ours like we had we had to come to a place of respect for each other where we were able to let our guards down and admit fault for things that we had done or not done um, and be able to communicate how the other was feeling and kind mm -hmm. of meet in the middle. Um, Cause a lot of the things that he was feeling, I couldn't wrap my head around. <laughs> like, right. right. <laughs> I mean, here I was shooting for the moon and wanted to earn all these trips and I wanted mm -hmm. to better by myself by going to most powerful women and doing all these things. So I thought this was for the greater good mm -hmm. of all of us, but I was leaving him behind and right. it was taking time away from what was supposed to be me coming home to the family. Mm -hmm. So we were able to finally hash things out and it does not happen overnight. <laughs> it is not like you flip a switch and you guys are on the same page. It took a lot of diligent work and effort from both parties to be able to have that open line of communication where when one person is feeling uncomfortable about something mm -hmm. that they're able to vocalize that. So as far as the travel and everything goes, we had to compromise and I had to learn to pick and choose what trips I was going to be taking and pick and choose how many times a year I'm traveling. So really had to kind of meet in the middle. So do you ever bring him on those trips? I think you brought him to conventions, yes. didn't you? Yeah. Tell yes. me what that's like. Now How does that change the dynamics of the event for you, but also for the relationship? What does it do? It was amazing. And my first year of convention, I did not bring him to Chicago. And that was my first one, so I wanted to be able to bond with my team. And the second year, I, I really wanted him to be there for me being recognized on stage as black status. So we knew from the get-go that he was going to be going there. But up until then, he had expressed interest in being at like indie training. There was a black status that put on a presentation or a training event and he wanted to come to that. He wanted to help me plan a Cincinnati training. So he had expressed interest in wanting to be at these events. He came to black status retreat with me mm -hmm. and it just completely changes the dynamic of the relationship and the business because he gets to see the other side that we get to feel and see every day in this business. So convention was amazing and I love that Derek included the mantuary and he has really taken the time to build something for the spouses mm -hmm. and the men because they are a crucial part of our business and having that support it it just changes everything and them being able to have this brotherhood because Jeremy came to convention and some of the guys got together um, they all got a suite at the um, Cardinals game oh awesome. it was all you can eat all you Perfect. can drink and they went to the game and they had so much fun talking with each other they talked about our businesses <laughs> yes. more than anything yes. um, they did brewery tours while we were at our classes so he had an absolute blast and he's just as introverted as I am. So to see him making friends with new people and being able to come out of his comfort zone, mm -hmm. it's, it's truly amazing to be able to see our mission working in him too. Sure. Well, and I think sometimes we think we're the only ones who need to bond with yeah. our sisters, you know, yeah. but the truth is they need some bonding with someone who's going through the same thing. So that's what we find uh, when we have any of these uh, events for our men is that they're bonding yeah. themselves. They're learning how to support their wives better. They're learning, a, they're seeing a bigger vision. They're seeing other husbands who have been able to walk away from their jobs and help their wives. 
and they're able to talk to them and find out how they can support them. Yeah. And that is that is gold for you. It is in, hel in helping you be successful. So. so many different teams have different ways of doing it. We, right. There is no one set way. So when you're able to get the guys together and they see what's work, maybe working for us or not working and be able to kind of collaborate with other spouses and see what's working for them, it just brings in a different aspect of brainstorming and it's just beneficial for everyone. It, it, I totally agree. That community is bigger than just our sisterhood. It's There's a community, and I feel like our business is evolving to that, where there's a community for the spouses as well. Where yes. they, I, I foresee a lot more spouses being at convention next year mm -hmm. just because we've kind of like broken that barrier where it's not, right. it's not for the husbands. It's not for the boyfriends. And it is. Right. Well, and we're seeing... No, we're seeing the effects of that. So it's, I mean, it's even eye-opening for us at corporate to go, oh, wow, you know, we've, <laughs> we've never thought about it. We've yeah. never thought about um, including them, and and we never thought they would even want to be included yeah. necessarily. But we're not finding that. We're finding that they're very supportive, and they have great ideas, and they have great ideas, and they're willing to share. So tell me, what, like, how do you work the business together? What kind of things does he do? What kind of things do you, you know, what's, What's the, how does he help you? Oh, how doesn't he help me? <laughs> <laughs> he knows my back office better than I do. Oh, he knows awesome. my password. He checks it while he's at work. He checks it all day long. So he, he knows our team. He knows who's going for what promotions. Mm -hmm. He, it's hard to get lost in the shuffle sometimes. Like I get very laser focused on what I'm doing that sometimes I forget the little things that are happening. So he, he sees when maybe someone needs a little extra encouragement or someone is still sitting at zero, maybe you should reach out and see if they're struggling with something. Mm -hmm. He is just my extra set of eyes for all of that stuff on this back wonderful. office end. And um, then he's also helpful with team incentives. Sometimes it gets redundant. Like I feel like I'm doing the same mm -hmm. tasks and right. the same um, prizes. And he is able to be like, well, you haven't done this in a while, or why don't you try this? Your girls aren't making as many live videos. Why don't you kind of push it towards this? So he's my extra, he's my extra voice of reason sometimes. Mm -hmm. um, he, he, he keeps me in check sometimes. It, right. <laughs> we all need that. He Truthfully. keeps me very grounded. Um, it's very hard to... Um, get carried away sometimes and he mm -hmm. makes sure that I never forget where I came from and who I am as a person and he makes sure that everything that I do comes through in my leadership and how I treat the people around me so he he does it all he helped me plan the Cincinnati training that we did wow which I probably would have backed out <laughs> if I <laughs> you had to do I that by yourself yeah. <laughs> if I didn't have him being like you got to do this Megan mm -hmm. you there are too many presenters in Cincinnati that need this training. You have, you just can't. So he, he pushes me. He keeps me accountable. Because I mean, there are some days where I just want to kick back and watch TV. Yeah. <laughs> no, but that's important, and, right? Like, it, this is our own business. You know, yeah. you can do whatever you want. There's no one that's going to tell you. Yeah. No, but sometimes we need somebody that says, "Hey, you know, you can do this." Yeah, he's, and you need to do this. Like, you haven't really done this in a while. You should probably do that. Mm -hmm. And it's not always what I want to hear, but <laughs> I'm sure <laughs> sometimes I'm sure. you need that yeah. constructive yeah. criticism right. to um, to just keep you on the right path. And then he has his own team page for our spouses now. That's great. Which has That's a been great idea. Amazing. So even if you don't have a large team, like. The guys are loving this. So he's got about 100 guys in his... My team is the Boss Babes. So he's got the Boss Babes bosses. <laughs> and oh, um, <laughs> basically what his team page is, is it's a support group. It's where they can ask questions if they're struggling with something or they don't know how to support their spouses. But more importantly, to incentivize these guys for being active in Excellent. their wives' business. So like one of his challenges, he doesn't he doesn't do anything wild and crazy, but like doing a live feed with your wife or um, maneuvering her back office, um, 
getting your wife to $125 in PRS, just yeah, little, little things, things. to sure. for them to encourage their spouses and let them know that they, they're there and they're watching and they're, mm -hmm. they're willing to help. So those the, are great. That's a great idea. <laughs> That's a great idea. When he launched his men's group, um, I took a picture of him because he was literally like glued to his phone. I knew how it felt yeah. when I was glued to my phone and I was talking to a wall because he's just sitting there. And so I posted a picture and then all the other girls posted pictures of their spouses who never had any interest in the, never had any interest mm -hmm. in the business. And now all of a sudden they're like glued to their phone, like a secret society. Yeah. And it's just been really cool because I get to be a fly on the wall yeah. and watch what's going on and to see these guys so excited for their spouses and even one of our our girls he was like she hasn't gotten any sales yet but i'm just so proud of her for all that she's doing oh. and just the little acknowledgement that maybe sometimes they're too too masculine to like say yeah. out loud yeah to see them posting in this group and being able to all bond. of it that's <laughs> awesome i mean all of us need i mean we want our spouses or significant others to be proud of us yeah like we really want that and I think this is a chance for them to see what what you do yeah you know it gives them an opportunity to really get in and see where you're succeeding and the things that you're doing and to be proud of you yeah you know not just supportive I think sometimes they don't see you know all of the work and all of the you know everything that's happening yeah and this is a really good chance for them to see and you know and support and give encouragement yeah. so they know how to encourage and what to encourage for so that's awesome and sometimes they don't really see the full impact of what you're doing so when he came with me to convention and he saw people stopping me and thanking me for what i do he really got to see that it's not just about me anymore mm -hmm. it's about making an impact and leaving a mark on other people's lives and Perfect. letting people know that if you don't you can do whatever you want, like inspiring them to follow their dreams. And he got to see the impact that I was making on other people's lives. And so he got to see what it was all about and kind of feel the energy because the energy at convention, you can't I, be there. Yeah, you have, and you have to be <laughs> there. Like you couldn't it. watch all of that and get, I mean, I know you can get a lot, but you could not get the same feeling as when yeah, you were there. That is very like true. Yeah, it was like Oprah's like favorite giveaway. It's like, <laughs> yeah. you get a splash, <laughs> you get a palette. I'm sure he was like, whoa. <laughs> he didn't know what to expect, but yeah. he got to feel it firsthand. Oh, that's And cool. so any chance that you get to get your spouses involved in anything, even if it's just a to get people locally to hang out at your mm -hmm. house, like yeah. get them involved any way possible because whether they show it and vocalize it or not, they are proud of you and they do want to be involved in your business. Um, but yeah, he, he loved convention. Oh, he loved black status retreat. Um, yeah. That's he loved awesome. the cruise. I love it. Well, so that's great advice. Do you have any other good advice for how you can involve your husbands or not even just involvement, but any, you know, even communication, anything that would help? I have a lot. <laughs> I have a lot to say on That's this. That's why because... she's here. And that, this is why we're glad she's here. <laughs> because this is something that I have been on both sides of the table on. And the biggest thing is put it out there for them to be involved. Ask their opinions ask for their help even if they aren't showing interest continue to make the effort to ask how they're feeling about it or just be like hey i'm struggling with this what do you think about this empower them by asking for their input even if they aren't vocalizing it yet and just continue to try to get them involved any way that you can um, it's a growth process for everyone involved I know I am not the same person that joined on June 1st, and I know that he's not the same person. He has gone through this growth process with me, and so we're both growing and we're both evolving through this journey, and you just have to give each other the space while it's happening, but learn to embrace the person that they're becoming. So we are both very introverted people, but we've become more confident and we've found a passion and something that makes us feel alive 
And so I'm seeing it in him and it was hard for him to see me not depending on him as much and being more outgoing than I was before. And you have to be able to embrace it and communicate with each other. I think communication is going to be the biggest thing possible. Um, just letting them know that even if they don't support your business, they need to support you. That was something that, that was my exact words to Jeremy early on was, I know you don't understand this business and I know you think it's a pyramid scheme, but if you love me and you want to support me, just support me. You don't have to support the business, just be here for me. So I tell a lot of my girls that same thing. Sit down and talk with them. Communicate how you're feeling. Um, get them involved in showing them like the big vision of what you see. Like when I was making my vision board, I started asking him, what do you want? Mm -hmm. And so if they are willing, have them make their own vision board. My husband wanted a Mustang and he wanted a pool <laughs> barn and he wants a pool. And they, let them dream big too. We're all about setting goals and visualizing uh, our future. So get them involved in what they see your life in the future like. Um, I know a lot of girls, one of the things that they struggle with is their spouses feel like they're putting in all of this effort and they're not seeing the financial um, end of it coming back in. So one of the things that I tell my girls is when you earn commission on your purple card, don't just spend it on maybe like a latte or just random things that add up. Save that money to the side so that you can buy him something to let him know that you appreciate him and that he can actually physically see the benefits of your business happening. So it doesn't have to be big, it doesn't have to be super expensive, but just something to show him that your business is working. That's a good idea. And so sometimes like what goes on the purple card, like it's kind of yeah. like your like fun money. Mm -hmm showing them that fun money and letting them have fun with it as well is super huge. Um, just don't shut them out. When we were butting heads the most, it was when he wanted to be part of my business the most. I couldn't wrap my head around the fact that he wanted to be involved in it, but he didn't want to watch from the sidelines. He wanted to be experiencing all of these life-changing events with me. He wanted to be on the cruise with me. He wanted to be at convention. He wanted to be at these trainings so that he could not only be with me, but to be able to experience it as well. So more than anything, just empower, uplift, and validate them. Our mission is to uplift, empower, and validate women, but I feel like as our business is evolving, we need to pay that mission forward and do it for our spouses as well totally because agree. they are they're just screaming out to be a part of your business whether you realize it or not and so well and maybe maybe what i mean it doesn't come across but they just want to be part of your life they do and if unique is going to be such a big part of your life then they have to be part of that as well to really be you know to make it all work yeah, something my husband said was, I realized that Unique gave you something that I wasn't able to give you. Mm -hmm. And he knew that it, it wasn't going anywhere. And if he wanted me to be a part of his life, then he was just going to have to, he was going to have to just support that. So, because it, it's given me more than I could have ever imagined. And right. he didn't want to take that from me. Right. So it was either <laughs> get on the bandwagon yeah, or... Right. Well, and you obviously found ways to help him. Yeah. I mean, the key, I think, something that you've said several times here that really seems key is she allowed him in. I mean, you have to allow your um, significant others into your business, which may mean they're going to be giving you advice that you're not <laughs> wanting to hear that day. <laughs> sometimes needed and sometimes... <laughs> Who knows whether it's, yeah. <laughs> but you know, it's, it's just part of life and having them be part of that. And something else that you said is that, you know, it, there isn't a separation anymore no. between the unique business and your marriage. No. And you know, it's, these are, everything these, flows, everything flows together. Yeah. And I'm sure that that makes it a lot easier to, you know, come together as partners 
but also to grow. Yeah. And so I think that's, I mean, I think you absolutely found the right combination there. And I'm sure it, it always helps to have a spouse who wants to be part of your life and loves you enough to, to do that. Yeah. And I think it takes a lot of effort for them sometimes. There's a lot of things they have to deal with. You know, they have to deal with the stigma of having their, you know, their wives, their significant others working yeah. and making money when maybe they feel like they should be the person doing that. Uh, but there is more to this business than just money. And I think you know that. And that's probably yeah. what he saw. If it were just <laughs> about money, most husbands would probably say, hey, you know. Yeah. Or hurry and get going. Yeah. <laughs> One of the two. But it's more than that. It is. And, I mean, he he had a tough time swallowing the fact that I was making more than him. Because oh, I'm sure. he has always been the breadwinner. Mm -hmm. He has always been the one to have to keep our family afloat. And for the longest time, I was I just wanted to shake him, like, I'm doing this for you. Yeah. Like, I don't want you to have to feel like everything is on your shoulders. Mm -hmm. Like, I want you to be able, when the time comes, to be able to retire from your job mm -hmm. because your back isn't gonna last much longer. And so it's hard for some of these spouses to see their wives making more than them and not having to sacrifice time right. outside the home in order to do it and feeling so fulfilled and so passionate about something mm -hmm. so it's definitely not a mainstream <laughs> right and and career be part but, of the problems you know yeah but learning to involve them and making it our business instead of my business or whatever, yeah, I'm sure makes a huge difference. Well, so I just really have a question. What is a normal day like at your house? <laughs> Complete insanity. <laughs> Two children, I am oh, sure of it. Uh, this year, my um, almost four-year-old started preschool, so that added a new dynamic into the mix, but it also gives me two and a half hours that I am completely child free, <laughs> oh, which perfect, yes. has been kind of hard because it's like, well, do I work or do I go shopping without having kids in tow? <laughs> right. Right. <laughs> so the first week of school was kind of crazy. It's like, I'm going to go run errands. Um, but I mean, I have those things in my schedule that are non-negotiable things. I got to get my son up. I got to get them fed. I got to get them on the school bus. There's just those things that are non-negotiable and then we kind of just fit unique in there. Mm -hmm. um, I usually go live once a day, so we kind of fit that in before we get um, preschool or off to school. Mm -hmm. And um, there was a lot of slack that my husband had to pick up <laughs> so sure. that I can focus on income producing activities. Um, so he's kind of taken over the laundry. He says that I'm horrible at cleaning the house. So I'm like, well, you, <laughs> right. you take care of that. Right. Um, so my my house is pretty much mayhem 24 seven. Like when mommy's trying to get work done, I let the kids kind of just <laughs> do whatever. And so there's toys thrown everywhere and they're running around playing Pokemon. And <laughs> well, and I mean, the reason why I asked that is, doesn't she look put together here? I mean, you never know. The truth is all of us do what we have to do. Yeah. It's not always an easy, pretty picture. No. And it's not perfect. And there's always a little crying on the side. Yeah. But the, the thing of it is, is you do what you have to do. Yeah. And you come together. And when you can come together with your significant other, then it just makes it that much better. Yeah. You know, it sounds like he's really picked up. Yeah. I mean, when you can get a, a significant other spouse that will pick up laundry and, yeah. you know, pick up helping to clean the house, you know that there is a true partnership there. Yeah, because I even asked him, like, <laughs> do you want me to start a load before I head to the airport? And he's like, I can handle it. <laughs> I know how to. I got it. I got it. That's so, awesome. Um, yeah, it, it's. It's been, it's been something crazy. And I am very about like being vulnerable and being completely genuine. So when people watch my live feeds, like there is nothing perfect about it. I think sometimes yes. with social media, you try to put on like this facade mm -hmm. of your life is perfect. You've got everything together. You're juggling all these different hats and you're doing it seamlessly. And it is, Working from home is not, <laughs> it's not perfect easy, at all. That's right. And so you just kind of got to learn to laugh at yourself and roll with the punches. And I mean, 
my kids are always coming, popping up into my videos, but it's not about being perfect. It's, right. I always say you're perfectly imperfect. So that's kind of that. what our life is. It's perfectly imperfect. <laughs> that's wonderful. And, um, so yeah, it's, a, it's always crazy, but we put a day bed in my office recently just because it seems like my office was like the, the congregation area. Right. Sure. <laughs> Yeah. When mommy's working, why not? Yeah, why not? <laughs> not have the whole family That's right, yeah. <laughs> So now with the day bed in there, he comes home from work and he plops down and he's he posts in his men's group and mm -hmm. I kind of do my thing and and you're together. We're together. Yeah. And that's sometimes I mean I know people think, well, you know, we're together, we're watching TV. Well, is that really any different than being together and working? There is no difference. No. Um, being together Whatever, however you find that time together, it's still bonding time and it's yeah. still sharing time and it's still important Yeah. and it's still valuable. So don't discount, you know, some of those things that you have to do together Yeah. and find joy in them as you go, as you go through. Yeah. It's not an easy <laughs> task finding joy in our no. lives, right? And I mean, we, we still have our moments where we want to ruin each other's necks. <laughs> sure. <laughs> but sure. It's, it's, it goes in waves. It's a roller coaster, but... When you can at least kind of be on the same page or the same chapter, it makes it a little bit easier to be able to work together as a team because it is a team effort. And when you can work as a team, you get to experience the rewards as a team as well. And it's, it's been very beneficial for both of us from a growth aspect. That's wonderful. And Thank you so much for being with us, Megan. You are so You have awesome. such wonderful thoughts. I mean, I'm like, these are great ideas. I'm glad <laughs> we're sharing all of these ideas with all of you. Because I think she's found some things that uh, would help, you know, so many of you uh, to find more joy in your own lives in the process of this business and in the process of raising your families or... You know, just, just being with your significant other and, and developing a relationship. So it's fun to hear how you've done it. And we're excited to have you here. And we love these Rockin' Your Business calls. <laughs> or calls, not even a call, these videos. And um, excited about the new format. It, it's kind of it's, fun, isn't it's it? It's amazing. I had to pinch myself this morning, oh, well, the fact that I was here. It's, it's when she walked down the hall, then she'd just come from the salon. And, she's beautiful, and this is going to be fun. And our video guys have set up this great video, like huge production in I my know. office. I didn't even recognize my office. But, <laughs> so it's all kind of fun, and yeah. I think this is going to be a fun format. So watch for our next one. We'll post on the pops about our next topic. And if you know someone that you think would be great, that's really how we decide is by your nominations. I don't, you know, I don't go in and say, oh, I'm just going to pick that person. <laughs> or if, you know, if somebody says to me, I really want to be there, I, that's not who really chooses. You guys choose the person that you know is doing something amazing. And so we want to hear from you and we hope that as these um, become even more popular, we will, re we will um, translate these Rocking Your Business uh, videos into all languages. So wow. you're going to be all over the world, <laughs> which is kind of fun, which our calls we did that, but yeah. now we'll do the same with our videos so that we can share some of these tips with, so cool. with women all over the world. So we're excited about that. So look for the nominations. And thanks again, Megan, for being with Thank us. Thank you so much. You're welcome. This was so, awesome. <laughs> that was awesome. So until next time, we'll see you then.